Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are currently in the middle of an epic civil war, and I'm going to go try to goddamn end it. Let's go up to speed 3. Um, yeah, I'm going to come crush this army. I think if I crush this army, I'll have a decent chance of ending this war early. Um, which would be good. The sooner we can end this stupid war, the better. And I can try to fix all the other problems we're going to have. Oh, my wife's pregnant. That's good. Oh, I got 140 gold. That's also good. Yeah, if we can um, win... If we can just beat this army, we might be in a good spot. None of this is Zunist, is it? Nope. Sunni, Sunni... Sunni, Sunni. Oh, and the Abbasids declare war on us. Huge surprise. P.S. It's not a huge surprise. Um, it's okay though. With the, we should be able to probably get the Abbasids to make some stupid engagements. They tend to do that. That's what they like to do. Uh, and not lose anything. I'd really not want to lose this this extension here, but this stupid civil war because all my vassals are incredibly short-sighted um, May cost us this war We're losing the left flank come on stop losing the left flank Okay, we're, we're gonna win the right flank There we go. Oh and our left flank broke still 69% war score as we go to Kalat. Wow, we lost 2,000 or 3,500 3, dudes. I fucking hate you. Goddamn rebellion. Oh my god, you guys have no idea how much I want to punch these guys in the face. Like, re really punch these guys in the face. 75% war score. Probably will only get up to like 85% war score. Then we're going to have to just sit here losing the war. Losing this war, I should say. Not this war. We're definitely going to win this war, but... 82%, and of course, we couldn't win the battle, and so now they're going to Makran, which is totally where we need them to go. Yes, I need a new ambition. Become exalted among men. I, I, I want to punch these guys so badly in the face. For being colossal douchebags. Literally, the sooner I could end this stupid war, the better off I'll be. The, the rebellion war. 87%, yeah. That, that's totally 100%. It's totally 100%. I want to throw every one of these bastards in prison, which is why I want to get them to uh, enforce demands. Or I just want to throw... Oh, he died. So all of that fighting was literally for nothing. But it does give me some more dudes. Why did the game just... Alright, so I tried to raise up my additional unraised levies, and that caused the game to minimize, which of course, as you may know, is a fast track to crashing the game. Um, luckily, I think I got it to not be completely and totally stupid, but we're going to get the entire army, all the extra people that I raised up, to go to boast. Hopefully, the AI will come to uh, hang out with us. And that will hopefully crush them and everything they believe in. So that's what we're going to do here. We're coming to boast. So yes, 10,000 AI men are on their way, which is interesting because our army is bigger than 10,000. 30,000 dudes. Oh, look, now another 11,000 dudes are on their way. That's fine. If we can get them to go to... Um, Zaranj will be in a good spot and then we will retreat to Ghazna. So they are going to Zaranj. Oh, there's 17,000 dudes there. Where'd they come from? We're gonna go to Ghazna. We're gonna have all our dudes go to Ghazna. 
Why are we doing this? Because Iran is our, is, is Zunist. Boast is Zunist. Well, now we want to stay. Now the AI is leaving for some reason. Don't know why. They were so excited to hang out and now they don't want to. Oh, now they're coming back. You're going to get there on the 11th of May. Are you going to suffer any more attrition before you get there? No, but you're going to Farah. All right, well, this is interesting. We're going to go to here now. You're suffering attrition. Oh, now they're going away. I mean, this is kind of an entertaining thing to watch, but... Um, 70 gold for him, 10 gold for you, 10 gold. We really do need this army to come. This army, this army of 17,000, we need them to come. Because we need them to lose so that these army of 21,000 here comes. Bam. Oh, they're coming back. Okay, good. They're coming back, guys. Why aren't you coming back? <laughs> that is a good question. Why aren't you coming back? You're going to BAM. This is Mountain, correct? It is, okay. We just lost the siege. Wow, that was 20% war score? Okay. Unexpected. So they're going to be suffering 13% attrition here, and they're going to get there on the 15th of November. We will not be able to escape in time. So we're not going to. But they should probably hit another attrition marker before they get here. 13% again, and they did. I think they did. Okay, so we have the mountains defense. We're losing on the right. We're winning on the left. We're winning in the center. Oh, yeah, give me that mountain terrain bonus. Okay, so we won the battle. That is really good for us. Now, what I want to do, because I have the opportunity to do so. Now that we did that, is find my army, my army from Kandahar. The problem is we took pretty gnarly damage there the army oh and I'm not probably not in, upgrading my retinue and I need to do that it's gonna cost me a buttload of money but I need my retinue to reinforce um army damn it I wish I could just come here and be like lower your troops but uh, I can't so new unit not my goddamn retinue arg of Kandahar lower then we're going to raise you up. It was a net gain. Um, we should be able to do the same thing in Mandesh no, or in Ghazna. I don't want to risk Mandesh. So we're going to... We're going to uh, lower Ghazna, which is Ghazna. Okay, that's a, that's a fantastic name. Um, why, what, what am I doing wrong here? I'm doing wrong is is messing with my brain. That's what I'm doing wrong here. Gasna. Lower. Raise. That's another 500 dudes. That's gonna give me a net another increase of 200 dudes. You guys need to come on down. As do you, if you can get here possibly. And you. You guys are so useless. Another 6,000 dudes from Vassals if I could get them. But I can't right now because of the armies coming to face me. Yeah, keep just keep sitting there suffering that 14% attrition. Can we possibly go like this? Will that cause you to turn around? You'll get here on the 16th of March. We'll get here on the 1st of April. 
They're suffering 13% attrition, of course. Oh, we're going to have to fight here. 2nd of May, which is going to probably be too late. We're probably going to lose this battle. Defense, plus 20%. That's really good. Um, I have Mountain Bonus, which is really good, and Defense Bonus. You have a Defense Penalty, but you have a lot of other good traits, so I'm just going to have to leave you with what you're doing. Why did I do that? Why do I do stupid things? Okay, so we're crushing the middle. Please, there we go. Crush him. Crush him. Crush him and everything he stands for. Alright. Come on up to here, because we're going to need more dudes. Oh, my wife's pregnant. Are you going to Kalat? Are you going to get out of there in time? No, you're not going to get out of there. Are you going to get out of there in time now? No, you just need to go fucking home. Go home. Um, yeah, go to prison. Okay, I got 1,800 men here. So, let's, we're gonna get those dudes. Are you kidding me? Why do I have an independence faction? You're a hundred goddamn percent in my favor. Yeah, get the goddamn Venerable Elder bonus. Get that one, too. The other guy's 100% likes me. Like, you should not be... You, you cannot be in a faction when you're 100%. Literally 100%. Look how much he likes me. 100. <laughs> okay, that went away finally after that was completely ridiculous and stupid. Sorry about that little rant, guys. That just it was <laughs> nonsensical bullshit and very annoying. All right. We're going to try to get the AI to come fight us again. Alright, one sec. No, that was definitely not what I want to do. What I want to do is... Lower this one. I don't actually have to set it into a separate army. There's 2,400 men. So this is Bamiyan... And this is Chakacharon. So I can't lower it from this screen. Now that's interesting. Alright. Bamiyan and Chakacharon. God damn it. Why did... Did I say... Go away? Alright. Everybody get here. Actually, we can now move everybody to here, I think. I think. And move you here as well. Oh, look, the AI is coming for me. That's what we like. They will have almost 20,000 dudes, but... It's okay. It's okay. Breathe. Breathe, Ice Beast. Need to get these archers back up. That'd be really good. If we can get a reprieve in the war, we have a decent shot of, uh, what if we do this? Getting them to go through two provinces would be really good. Now, this army is never going to get there in time. No, you need to go the long way. You have to go the long fucking way. So good. They're going to take 13% attrition crossing into Boast. One of my armies is not going to get out of here in time. Unfortunately. 
Which one is it? 631 dudes. There you are. Now, where are you from? Are you from here? No. You from here? Yes. That's fine. Everybody else will get here in time. Meanwhile, the AI is doing a little happy dance here. Down they go. Bye bye, your army. Bye bye. So you'll get there on the 17th of March. 11th of May. But this will probably get the AI to turn around. Yep, they're bringing more dudes. I'm okay playing this game. Yes, it is gimmicky. Yes, it's kind of stupid. Yes, it will probably be what allows me to win the war. So I'm okay with it. 13.4% attrition already. Now, the reason I just did what I just did is this is going to keep this army coming. They'll get here on the 22nd of May, and then I can just stop. I want to be here because it makes them cross two provinces. See? It's doing exactly what I want it to do. 13.1. They'll get there on the 1st of July. I'm heading there for the 6th of July. I need to be careful. Oh, that reset my progress. What? My progress reset? You're taking 14% attrition while my progress reset? What? Oh, they have 6,000 men over there, though, which is not good. Hey, look, 8,000. You're down to 8,000, dudes. What? My progress reset again? 4th of September. Okay, this works out good for me. This army is going to be a non-factor here in a second. And then... Oh, they're on their way now. Beautiful. This is Flatlands, right? Yep, we're going to fight you there. My What? My wife died? Oh. Poor wifey. Need to find a new wife. Find characters. Women. Not married. And you blah blah blah. Jean. Jean. Yes. Okay, I can spell. Smart. <laughs> it's not smart. It's quick. Quick. Um, so besides the fact that you s oh my god, oh, you're Sunni, but you're so good. Besides being Sunni, you're goddamn fantastic. I'm marrying you. She will not accept my offer because she won't accept an infidel. Jesus Christ, she's so good. Just, just convert. You're so good. All right my religion that will help out let's see what we got 311 1611 attractive this she's not too bad oh she's old um all right well now at this point there's no reason not to use the marriage finder because this will find me eligible women that that aren't too old or too bad um, although they're not showing me just my religion, which may be a mistake. This episode's going to run just a tad long. <sighs> She's old. Wait, why did the finder get me something differently here? Any? Just want to make sure we, we it's showing me the right women. It is. I mean, you're good if you weren't so old. You're just not so good. And you have a child. Um, you're a too, little too old. Oh, wow. You're pretty well-rounded, except for the fact that you're a master seductress. It's like trait of have never seen but you're old that is a common problem in this game that um actually you're pretty good oh but you're my kinswoman um it's a common problem in this game that people that have lots of good traits tend to be older 
it's not a problem it's sort of mapping to a reality that the game is trying to enforce hmm well all right I'm gonna go back I know I've been switching back and forth and you guys are all probably furious about this but I think I'm gonna take I wish you weren't so old that's really what I wish she's quick I mean if I'm going to take a quick one, I'll be this one, probably. I'm going to do that. I'm going to marry her. Um, and the reason I did that is because she's quick. Which means that our children might be quick. Quick is good. It's a fantastic trait. We're going to chase you down, but not catch you. 9th of November. Up, oh, their army's on their way, though, so we're just going to chill here now. And this is where we're going to end the episode. So I apologize that this episode took long and didn't really have a bunch of good stuff going on for it. We did reunite the Empire, though. Uh, we're in a relatively good spot. If we could lower our vassals' levies and re-raise them, we would be doing great. Um, I think. Because we would have a grand total of 11,000 vassal levies and about 6,000 of our own levies. That give us about 17,000 dudes. That'd be pretty good. But whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out on the next episode. So until then, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time.